back, let's use this video to continue on the chapter two data structure. Uh, we will discuss uh, 2.11 and 2.12. They have some uh, relationship. First, we go with these uh, drivers, B and D, and then we discuss uh, these uh, comprehensions. It's a uh, very uh, the convenient, I should say, is also kind of a magic that uh, Python can provide to you uh, to use the, uh, the way uh, you learn from drivers. Uh, and within the comprehensions, uh, we will show you the four basic type of uh, comprehension. So you can use comprehension in list, in dictionary set, uh, but uh, pay attention if you cannot use a comprehension for Cooper, so because that's not our uh, changeable uh, type. And uh, our special, uh, the comprehension is the generator comprehension. It's uh, similar to the, uh, the, uh, the list, but just uh, the different way to, to show. Uh, and uh, in the last but not least, we will talk about the nested uh, comprehension. So you can use comprehensions within comprehension. Uh, so let's uh, uh, do the test together. Uh, so, uh, before go to that, is you can come to my GitHub. Is uh, is keep uh, updating. So we have uh, uh, until last uh, part. We also have this uh, two point ten. So we we discuss about uh, this uh, comparison uh, and to uh, identities. Uh, uh, those kind of operators uh, in the last uh, the video and this one. So we start from this uh, 2 hyphen 11 to do these uh, drivers. So first the drivers, uh, as uh, mentioned by the author, it looks like uh, it's a very uh, the, uh, attractive, but it's uh, very easy. It's just uh, to access uh, your uh, every element one by one in whatever your container. Uh, container we discussed uh, in our earlier uh, the, uh, the videos uh, is just uh, like uh, the different type, uh, which can contain the multiple element, like list, like tuple, like uh, the dictionary, uh, uh, so also the set. Uh, so we're starting to uh, test this as our list. So if I create our list like this three, I can use uh, four numbers. Uh, the container uh, uh, to do these uh, drivers is just to uh, show you with uh, every element. So uh, very easy, we will use uh, our for loop. But until now, we haven't yet discussed about the, or review the for loop, but I hope you uh, learned this earlier. So uh, in the part two, we, we can talk about, uh, uh, let me uh, just double check uh, what's our, uh, the progress in I think it's uh, here uh, in the functions. Uh, we don't have yeah, here. So we have this basic uh, structure immediately. We have a sequence and choice or selection. And then here we will talk about the for loop or, or while loop. Uh, so uh, that is the thing uh, we will review. But for now, we just uh, try to remember is uh, in Python. Uh, you don't need to mention that in the be uh, beginning element, ending element, and the step. You just see for something in a range. So, uh, and if this a range is a list, you even don't need to mention our keywords range. It's just X in the list, my list now, uh, with a comma. Then you can see it's also uh, automatically indent. So that means it's uh, here is a block within four. So. Uh, I just uh, pu print this and uh, also print our end of this loop, this times loop. So I s oh, you cannot use uh, capital P. Let me move this, let's try to print. So first 66, 77, 88, 99. So every uh, element we just, uh, this means a traverse, so a traverse from beginning to end. 
the that is the uh, way we can do the the traverse. And we back to here. And uh, uh, if you uh, want to show the index, uh, you can get uh, this uh, our index number. So if I see i is the index number, x is the value. So we can do the same. So let me see here. I have this again, comments. So x is our number. Uh, the value i is the index. So uh, we can print uh, first print. Here is the format printing. So you remember is uh, you can make this one and use our uh, curly braces uh, with your uh, variable. So current index is i and also f current element is don't re forget about this uh, curly braces and within these uh, double quotes. And then we can print uh, also our interesting thing is uh, use the format uh, current element times two is. So we can do some calculation. So here, so x times two. So we can just uh, print this out. So through this we print uh, and then first let's do the print. Oh, so let me save for x and y in my list. So what's the error message? Cannot unpack non-iterable int object. So let me see here well, what's the uh, reason. Oh, so here. Uh, we need to have this uh, enumerate let's uh, take that if not using enumerate Arrow. Let's see here. So I put this uh, arrow message, and let's uh, try to list current because we need to make this list uh, as a enumerator uh, enumerate uh, listing. So then every one, uh, every element, uh, we can list their index and element. So now here, and we times two, so it's get this uh, thirty. Uh, 132. So uh, lastly, so we print my list again. So to see whether my list is changed. So no, so my list is still kept, but we can uh, export this uh, element. So uh, we can uh, put that into the, uh, the new list, then that you create our new uh, the list uh, through this uh, uh, the uh, times two, uh, but that is the uh, this uh, comprehension uh, we'll use. So let's uh, move to this one. Let's create two hyphen twelve. So comprehension. So we uh, we will do the this uh, uh, one by one. So first is the list uh, comprehension. And we, uh, we will see, we will have our big comprehensions and the set comprehensions. So we're starting from these three basic uh, the uh, comprehension. So first, let, let's see, we have my list equal to 66, 77, 88. So we just use this uh, one. So we will create a new list. So if we want uh, last uh, sample we try to see, uh, we can print uh, times two uh, for every element, but how we can put that into our new list? Uh, so we will make our new list empty, and then for data in my list, the old list, new list, 
we will use the append. Append means uh, it, it will add the element into the last. So data times two ensures you back to the indent, otherwise it's in this loop. So print my list and print new list. So we, we can just try to compare. Okay, so it to complete save. You can see, so this is the old list, the new list is uh, doing the times two uh, for every element. But uh, we, uh, we can use a more elegant way uh, through this uh, comprehension. So this is the tradition way. Tradition way using for loop. As using comprehension. So let's uh, starting to have uh, my list, and I want to print my list and print a new list. How to get this uh, new list? The comprehension means uh, you use this uh, list because new list is also a list. We directly count data times two. Four is inside this uh, comprehension. So for data in my list. So that's it. So you get this uh, same result. So that is the comprehension is so you can put this uh, for loop uh, inside just the one line of the code. Uh, you can compare these two, so it's more uh, easier for you to uh, to make this uh, code altogether. So that's the uh, this uh, list, uh, and then the similar is uh, uh, if we put our dictionary. So let's use uh, my list as well. So my list is here, and my dictionary. So uh, let's put it's a dictionary is uh, using uh, this way. So let's say key times two. Here uh, we will have our comma and functional uh, uh, format uh, format. Uh, this uh, print is a value key times two. Four. Here is the four key in my list. So key in my list is uh, as long as this is our key. Uh, so I want this uh, key double. So that is the the way we create our dictionary. Uh, and then the the value is uh, this one. So value is because uh, using comma to separate key and value. So I, if I want to see here, uh, I want to, uh, let's say, the triple. So we can print my dictionary. So let's print. So you get this uh, triple key, triple key, triple key. And then value is based on your the format. So here, I, I will treat uh, that same. So 198 is the same key. So that's the way you are creating our dictionary through uh, this kind of the, uh, this uh, comprehension. So uh, let's uh, uh, make also our way is the syntax. So if you want to make our list uh, using comprehension, your new list, it's just uh, using these uh, brackets. It's uh, putting your expression and the for loop expression in all the list. If condition. So uh, you can also have our if condition. So uh, let's uh, do another testing. So uh, let, let me create our old list equal to 
maybe zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is uh, seven numbers. Uh, and what my new list is uh, equal to, so I have this and try to use the, this way. So let me print all the list. And uh, I want to afterwards is uh, print new list. So just to make your program uh, the structure well. So let me call common states. So new list is empty now. So let's see. So for item in all the list. Wait, if I don't use the this uh, uh, the this comprehension, so uh, well, I can use is uh, I gave our if condition. So if items can be divided by two without the remainers, then I put this uh, new list append item. So which means is I want is the something is just in this even the number. So I give a more. So let's oh sorry. Save. Oh so new list is here. So I should not create this directly. So like this way. So. I gave this uh, new list uh, append every uh, figure. So let me see. New list append item. A. Yeah, correct. So from zero to eight, uh, and if item uh, the this uh, try to mode two equal to zero, then is I will put that into the new list. So how this will be. Uh, can be used the our comprehension. So you you can see here I have our let's uh, let me copy and common states. So new list uh, is the way we can directly uh, write on that. So let's remove this. So using this uh, syntax, we should have our uh, the expression. Expression is the item. For for loop for what for item in all the list and if item fulfill this condition. Let's see so what happened for us. You get the same. So expression is of item. Uh, or maybe it's an item you can uh, to put that into the more expression, but this is of a variable. And if for item is the for loop item in all the list. So they will traverse from here. You learn this traverse from uh, 2.11. And we add our if condition. So you can have some if uh, condition to do this. So that is the uh, list. And similarly, uh, let's uh, summarize uh, this uh, dict. Uh, comprehensions uh, syntax. Uh, so what was that syntax uh, you can consider is uh, new dict equal to days sign curly braces key expression use the comma value expression for loop expression if you have uh, any condition. So in our uh, testing, uh, let's uh, uh, do our the test uh, sample. So uh, sample to find who, which students got full score. So uh, let's uh, make our the students score infer. That is our dictionary first. 
So we should start to define this one. Uh, so maybe we see here Jack. He has uh, some pyramid uh, those uh, values and also Tom and with uh, some values and to remember here uh, in the first set of the key value you should have our uh, the, this uh, the comma so let me just say Jack Chinese I got 87 mass is 100 is English 95 so I got this as Jacks and Chinese mass 89 English that's just a gave our uh, 92 so for example so let's uh, print all the students infer you see I got this uh, two uh, uh, key value chain. So now let's see. So I want to find this. So who uh, got uh, mathematic uh, the hundred? So mathematic is uh, in math. Math is Jack. So my new dictionary uh, I will do is uh, new student score in for equal to what? Equal to another new dictionary. And this the dictionary is uh, I should have this uh, key expression value expression so name scores for name so that is the two expression and the scores in old students dot items so that is uh, over expression uh, and then if we go. Um, we start to have this uh, condition. If score mass equal, remember that's a double uh, equal sign equal to hundred, and that lets uh, print news. Oh, sorry. Was the arrow score is not defined? Did you mean scores? So I define scores, and here I use uh, scores. You can see here it found the Jack because Jack's mass is uh, 100. So if I put this uh, change, so it's 99, here is uh, 100. It found Tom because now time is mass is 100 so you can use this way so uh, also you uh, you can test here so key value and then for key in my list and here is the name is the key score is the value and then we put this score in these items and if so that is the dictionary uh, you get that uh, and then the uh, next one is so uh, we uh, we also can uh, make that as a set. So uh, let's also here in the book is and doesn't uh, give us the, this uh, set, uh, but uh, let's make that also summarize here. For set is a new set is equal to our remember is a set is also the same. Uh, the these uh, curly braces, but uh, you don't have the key value. Uh, uh, this uh, chain set is just the one value, but they don't uh, count. Uh, this uh, duplicate one. So for loop expression, if condition. So you can also have the if condition. Let's do our uh, the this uh, sample. So all the list. 
So let me go to this uh, list. It's this one. So let me comment this. Print all the list. So let's uh, double infer of uh, definition is correct. Then new set, not a new uh, the this uh, list. So it's using the curly braces item for item in in what old list. Now I create a new set based on this old list. So uh, I can print new set. So I go to this uh, uh, new set. Uh, what's the difference for set and the list? Is a set you will only have this uh, the unique number. For example, is uh, I put this uh, three, three, three. So it's fine. It's for list. Uh, I can have a duplicated value, uh, but in set you can see your multiple three is just uh, count once. So. Uh, and like this uh, set, so if I want to see, I only want uh, the the even number. So then you can see you don't have this uh, three. So three and one are equal. Uh, the this uh, not equal uh, even number. Uh, and remember, inside you uh, it's just a random sequence, so it's not uh, like it's uh, from the smaller to uh, the highest. So uh, that is the thing. So you can uh, generate uh, a set based on uh, these are all the list, uh, and then the, so we also have this uh, generator the comprehension. So what was that uh, means is uh, you can uh, put uh, some generator like here is uh, my list for example. Again, we use uh, this and my generator. The difference is uh, you uh, will now is uh, parentheses. Use this way. So key times two for key in my list uh, and then print my list print my generator so let's print first so generator object we go to our generator because we use these uh, parentheses uh, and uh, then this uh, for x in my generator print x you can see 1 3 2 1 5 so uh, 4 1 7 uh, 6 so it's used as a uh, key uh, the times 2 uh, but we we don't uh, this not uh, the uh, uh, just uh, the you have to use uh, key so you just uh, they are referring to the item so uh, generator, we may use that in some other things, but uh, 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 most of those of uh, office uh, handling uh, is not using generator too much. So that is the thing is we just mentioned to you. You remember you have a multiple way to use uh, comprehension. So, so hope you can practice yourself and to get familiar. Uh, so from next video, we will move to the chapters three so we already finished a whole chapter two now I hope you get a, a good idea is on the data structure then in chapter three we talk about the function uh, that is also uh, numbers of the things we will uh, discuss uh, uh, to uh, make you uh, recap clearly about the Python basics see you later